al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula branch has announced a new operation called Sahamul Haq against the occupying Arab coalition forces in Yemen. Al-Qaeda resistance fighters conducted five successful operations against the occupying coalition forces on the first day of the announcement, in which more than two dozen Ghadar soldiers were killed and wounded, destroyed numerous enemy armored vehicles and drones. For the past several years, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula-based popular Islamic resistance force, Ansar sharia has largely kept itself from announcing such operations. During these years the group's resistance fighters confined themselves to guerrilla warfare and defensive operations. According to analysts, this was just one part of Al-Qaeda's long-term strategy. And as a result of this strategy, the group is very united and well organized in Yemen today, who are influencing other local resistance forces beyond the borders of their own party, Alhamdulillah. A clear proof of this is the Sahamul Haq operation announced by the party on September 14 after a long time. Because after the announcement of this operation, not only Al-Qaeda fighters are conducting operations against the occupying coalition forces, but also tribal armed Sunni Muslim groups have also increased their attacks. They have opened up territory they control to Al-Qaeda, providing the Mujahideen with essential information and shelter. As a result, the Mujahideen have been able to conduct five consecutive successful operations in Yemen in the last 24 hours. This includes the Mujahideen's successful operation in the Mudia area of Abian, where Mujahideen attacked two entire checkposts and one armored vehicle of Ghadar forces were destroyed. Along with this, the Mujahids also dislodged several IEDs planted by Ghadar's forces. More than 13 Ghadar soldiers were killed by the Mujahideen in this operation. Another similar military operation was conducted in Musaina area of Shabwa state. When Gadda's forces tried to enter this area controlled by the Mujahids, the Mujahids put up a fierce resistance. And in that four soldiers of Gadda's army were killed and more than five soldiers were injured. A few armored vehicles of Gadda's forces were damaged. Finally, Gadda's Arab coalition was forced to flee the area. On this day, the Mujahideen had a fierce battle with the United Arab Emirates and their supported military forces in the Kobar al maraksha area of Abian state. Meanwhile, the combined forces of the Mujahideen were defeated by the intense attack of the Mujahideen. As a result, the Mujahideen destroyed an armored vehicle and crew of Gadda's forces, and shot down a drone. Dozens of Gadda's soldiers were also killed and wounded, and they were forced to flee from the area. Meanwhile, Al-Qaeda announced in its new operations announcement that the recently occupied Arab Emirates has been caught up in the implementation of the Zionist project in Yemen. They launched attacks in southern Yemen with the Transitional Council, U.S.-backed armed forces and their subordinates. Areas that al Sunnah have kept free from occupation for years. And they have started this campaign against the people who follow this al Sunnah. So, in this context, the brave Mujahideen of Al-Qaeda are also announcing that the Mujahideen will conduct a face-to-face -face campaign against them. And this, Sahamul Haq, operation of ours against the occupying forces will continue until their goals and strategies are thrown into the rubble and their military campaign ends in failure. And the Dawa and goal of Ansar Sharia is to exalt the words of Almighty Allah, to establish Sharia rule in his land, advancing our Ummah and resisting the Crusader forces of America and their supporters.